Good morning, this is Tea Time with Jack Attack. Today I'm drinking Lemon Echinacea Throat Coat Tea, and we're going to talk about gaming being the future of education, which is something that I believe is true. I think that games are, in just general, a much better way of learning things, and pretty much everything can be learned through games, or, or through something that's very, very similar to a game, and it's just much more fun and interesting. Um, I have this uh, idea, I've had this idea for a really, really long time, um, but it's sort of been rekindled in me recently because I've been watching uh, a lot of CPG Grey, which I will link to, you, and it's awesome, uh, as well as Extra Credits has been doing this whole month uh, videos about gaming and education and how they're related and how we can get, uh, get games in the classroom, which I think is phenomenal. Um, and there, there are also things like, you know, you have luminosity, not luminosity, God. I just recently learned how to say that correctly, by the way. It's not luminosity, it's lumosity, and I can't say it correctly. Uh, and also Duolingo for learning languages, which is kind of interesting to me. That's a whole other subject. I want to try to stick on one subject for the day, make this sort of a daily tea time thing. Because I drink tea every day. I might as well drink it talking to you. Maybe you can have some tea as well. Um... But yeah, so luminos Lumosity is really cool. It's a bunch of um, cognitive scientists doing experiments with games and how they affect um, people's brains in like an overall mental uh, fitness kind of a way. So I'm doing that. It's really fun. Uh, I'm also, I've also recently been doing Duolingo, which is also a lot of fun. Uh, I did, I still do, um, I learned Korean with Rosetta Stone, again, uh, it's a way to learn a language through playing a bunch of games, and it's fun. You just sit down, you play some games for a little while, and you get better at learning, at speaking and listening to a language, which is really fucking cool. Um, and uh, as you probably know, uh, my main thing is StarCraft. StarCraft, to me, is the coolest, most awesome game there ever was. So there must be, in StarCraft, this wealth of knowledge and experience and skills that we develop in StarCraft that we use in our real life. And I really believe that. I've always sort of believed that, you know, as an intuition, I've always believed that StarCraft is a metaphor for life. And within StarCraft, there are so many metaphors for how life works out and in, in a really meaningful way. But I've always just sort of, that's been an intuition of mine. It's not been like something that I said, ah, yes, here are these things. Uh, so what I would like to do is talk to all of you and hopefully you can leave in the comments what you think about uh, StarCraft 2 and how has StarCraft 2 taught you something uh, about your life? Like what is one thing that you learned in StarCraft 2 that has applied to your real life or like a metaphor? Be like, oh, well, I was having trouble solving this problem, but I thought about, you know, how slight changes in the build can make big changes, you know, for, you know, depending on the, my opponent's strategy or, you know, a metaphor for mechanics and strategy in real life and things like that, um, and how maybe StarCraft has helped you in your life. Um, sort of goal, long-term goal of this little daily project is to accumulate uh, a lot of meaningful examples and, and ideas and maybe sort of make some kind of a presentation at the end of all of it where it's sort of like, yes, you know, this is this is StarCraft, you know, uh, for all of you moms out there who are worried, you know, and dads who are worried about your kids spending too much time playing StarCraft, it's not a problem. StarCraft is one of the most mentally beneficial things that you can do. Um, and I, I think that, I believe that as an intuition. I'm not sure if it's true, you know, but currently that's my intuition and I'd like to explore that with all of you. So leave in the comments below what you think uh, about this idea and I will see you tomorrow morning.